Club Europe is a bit tired. I mean, look at this lounge. Yeah. The seats are awful. It's like in a train station. The travelling experience is generally fairly bland. Check-in procedures are awful. I think it just looks really tired. It's not very bright. Sometimes I wonder if there's much difference between the traveller section to the club section. From a food point of view, it's not OK. It's more like a bus journey. I mean, it doesn't really say anything particularly British. It doesn't say anything particularly European to me. We're a premium airline and we can't afford to be anywhere else. We need to get our market share back. Competitors are out there providing slicker and more efficient products than we are, and we really need to come back and address this. We're working with the two of the best design teams in the world. We're bringing together unique skills. We've never done this before at such an early stage. There's a real need to um, redesign and rethink and reposition this product. It can't just be um, just a bit, a bit of icing on something that already exists. It's got to be um, really rethought totally. The, the whole proposition of Club Europe is speed on the ground, space in the air. Like, I, I don't want an airport, I want to go straight through to the flight. That kind of speed, efficiency and simplicity is terribly important. They just want simple things. I think customers now are looking for value. They're looking for schedule and frequency and then they're looking for value. We charge a significant premium for Club Europe travel and we need to make sure that every single time we justify that through every single aspect of the experience. And our passengers, when they come in the terminal, they have to struggle the way through out here, the three desks to check in. And what they've paid in comparison with our economy passengers, they all get the same, they get, they get the same treatment, so they are lost. There should be a complete separate check-in for club passengers, a more quiet area, which probably would be the south forward, which is the end desks. It's walking through that incredibly hectic terminal and suddenly being aware of this very sort of calm, serene presentation of Club Europe. It's very much to give you, give you a sense of go in, check-in, and straight through this tunnel here to arrive at the lounges. It's, it's about style, it's about culture, it's about vibrance, it's about diversity. Because again, that's, you know, really simple but fresh ingredients. I'm curious to know who can actually drink champagne first thing in the morning. The food lacks distinction, flair. We cannot afford to produce all of these receptacles and put the same product from catering into them. The whole thing has to be reviewed. I want something simple, I want something stylish, I want something that looks appetising. Full-size cutlery, I think it'd be great. That this is the basis of our colour palette. We did a lot of research to get this. You know, we'd translate the European blue to a great seat fabric and then we'd start using the Italian linen colours and we'd start using some of the greys in some of the soft furnishings, for example. You've got to be distinctive to stand out, you know, and it's got, it's got to be something that's sustainably distinctive. There's no point in just re-coating it with a, with a new coat of paint and then six months down the line have to redo the exercise. Thinking about hand baggage. Just don't mention hand baggage. You should come in having enough space just to put it there and to get and having your seats. What people really want is the guaranteed personal space on board. To be a successful brand in the future, Club Europe has got to do something which is very different, uh, very pragmatic and very, very focused. Um, and it's got to be done in totality. So at the moment with the galleys, we like to call them kitchens. We like to keep them simple and we like to introduce these materials wherever we can. This visual here just shows one way that it could look. Well, if you look at the aircraft architecture at the moment, you, you know, it's a lot of um, beige plastic hard materials. What we want to do is fundamentally change that, you know, rethink it completely. Um, throw out all the, the old and start from scratch really. Really really think about why it is the way it is and does it have to be that way? Can we not make it more, more like a retail environment? Can we not make it more like a hotel environment? Can we, can we not make it more like the home if we want to? You know, why does it have to look like the aircraft have for the last 20, 30 years? Why shouldn't bathrooms look like bathrooms? Yeah, literally bolt this on, it would make a huge, a huge impact. What, what you're in now is a completely different space. It doesn't feel like an aircraft of the past, it's new. Making it much more simple, much more, you know, clean it up. There's been some of the most exciting original ideas that we've seen for a very, very long time. We're looking at treating short haul in a very, very different way. And some of the ideas we're looking at for Europe are real first, and frankly, they're things that are going to be quite difficult to do. I think we're going to take some risks, but we will change the face of the way people travel short haul. I think that our Club Europe product needs to be reinvested in to offer value, to really persuade the customer that they are getting value for money. Thank you.